wrapper. Huh. Okay. Hello, brother. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, yeah, good, good. Everything's all right this end. We're ready, oh, okay. ready to go. I'll, I'll, I'll email you the final draft of yeah. the, of the writ warrant and all the rest of it that goes with it. Yeah. It'll take me quite a long time to put it all together, and those chiefs up north are happy with it. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the four paramount chiefs that are going to take the Manukau Company title in Scotland. Yeah, yeah. They'll take that, that title. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm talking for the Manukau to pass it over. Uh, uh, and, yeah. and that'll do it. That'll put everything to rest. And yeah. um, Manahi is um, going to cover for, uh, for us down there. Uh, yeah. He won't be talking about rural waipu or any of that whakapapa, he'll be talking straight Moriori, Cook. Oh, okay. Mo Moriori Cook uh, Island with, uh, with uh, Bundy Waitai up, looking after the cooks up the top of uh, um, uh, Te Hapua, right up north. So, uh, 1773, Cook uh, discovered this country and um, uh, 1773, uh, at, and he came in at, uh, at the East Cape Tolaga Bay there, so that's tied to that title to us there. Yeah. To, uh, uh, and King William acknowledged that in 1833, yeah. uh, that, uh, uh, that um, he recognised that founded title. Yeah. And then 1834 he gave the flag, and that's, that's the connection now that they've understood now, but I'm writing up all the stuff on Facebook and okay. uh, I'll take it, I'm taking it straight off Facebook and put it straight onto video. I'm, I'm yeah. explaining each page. I've already put uh -huh. a video out on the pages, um, but yeah. I send you the documents so that you can see the documents with the pages because there's a lot to write. I'm just writing one document now and takes forever to write uh, the story yeah. of Manukau and the, okay. wa and the Wānoa. Uh, goes together with the Rogan under yeah. the Freemason title. The, free, okay. the Freemasons drew up all the land titles in the world and yep. uh, they married into our family and so that that ties in with um, with this title of Refa Refa Manukau okay. and Clendon, because Clendon went into Hicks Bay, the same Clendon that put the title together up in uh, Russell and, yep. and Auckland uh, with the Rogan, the Clendon, and Refere for Manukau on the title. <coughs> so that tied in with the other Manukau in, in, uh, in um, Cambridge and um, Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, yeah, it ties in with him over there with that company, Manukau Land Company. They changed the switch, they made another company here, the government in Wellington and New South Wales, and they made it, they called it the Manukau Land Company, then they changed it into the Manukau, the Manuk, the Manukau and Waitamata Company, right? They call yeah. it the New Zealand Company first in Australia, oh, okay. and then in New Zealand they call it the Waitamata, uh, the Manukau and Waitamata Company, oh, okay. and that's how they stole the title. And that that guy Cornwallis that came from England drowned, to mysteriously yeah. drowned. So they switched the title right there. So I'm telling oh. those chiefs up north the four of them, so that's yeah. Bandi Waitai, Manahi, um, Parapara Mohini, um, yeah. um, who's the other one, uh, Jim Wikotu, and, oh, yeah. and uh, Kingi Toro, those four, that's it, oh, okay. that's yeah. it, they'll take out the Manukau title in England, yeah. and right through the whole country, one, oh, okay. uh, one shot, and I yeah. think that's why they're stuck with the TPPA now, it's backfired. Yeah. It's backfired. I just read it on the news yesterday, um, and um, they're they're not very happy with it. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And they're having meetings with the Runanga now. And up north, they've gone against oh. Tuhuranuku. They've, they've gone and squashed Tuhuranuku. I think they're reading into this, and they're oh, gonna, okay. they're going to pick this up and slam them with it. And I think that'll that'll really um, uh, catch them out, the crown yeah. and the, and the iwi Maori. Runangas. It'll catch them out with those titles. And our yeah. title with the church is the other one. They, they can see that one as well. Uh, the church is tied to Clendon. Uh, 
because he went to Fakafitira and put that strung that together with the, the Manukau in Auckland and yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, with the church um, paper ball title and but uh, that that church in in Tiki went under his admiralty because he was the magistrate. He, oh, okay. uh, Clinton was the magistrate and the magistrate in in Scotland was um, William Simon. He, okay, he was yeah. the ma the magistrate is the landowner of the crown, right? Yeah. He's he's the one that is the real estate for the crown. It's the magistrate court in the back of the court in the courthouse. When they go oh. into the private, they're going into this king's bench court. And that's why yeah. I said the money he's got it now. He's really got it, and yeah. so he's going to write up the documents. Yeah. Uh, from uh, uh, my documents won't pass going through the courts, but. I'm allowed to write like this in our court, and, and 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 what I say goes. But he'll just transcribe it to put it through the Queen's Bench Court, and then we're going yeah. straight on to the King's Bench Court with those laws of 1830 to 1837, clean, clean cut. None of the other laws after that. Yeah, uh, we go straight back to the old laws where there's, there's no corruption in it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's the good news. I've been working on it quite quite a lot in the last weeks making videos but I've just okay. got to make the last ones I'm putting two more together now yeah. and one more to go with those 42 documents and another 15 documents the, yeah. the 15 documents is the um, uh, the gold that's missing uh, yeah. in the World Bank um, so I'll put okay. those, those 15 documents together with the yeah. um, uh, President of, of Philippines where the gold is buried um, okay. uh, so, so we're just putting the lien right over the top of it um, the, the, yeah. to hold it on, on these pound notes and we start writing the pound notes after, after uh, the meeting up north. Okay. I'll start writing the pound notes for this and that and everything yeah. uh, and then uh, that should do it and we'll just go straight into it from there. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, I just, I've written down, written down the writ warrant with the uh, that land block at um, at Ha Ho, and uh, and also the the motel, and all the yeah. wood woodland next door, wood land next door. There's about 800 acres or something. But that uh, wood, I'm sure that wood there is connected to Roy and Wood conveyance land lawyers in um, Scotland that put these yeah. titles together, the Manukau titles over there together. Is Wood and Roy and Wood lawyers. Uh, so that wood must have come from there because they were on that land block at, at uh, Lotton Point without yeah. any authority and in the 1820s period. Okay. They were there. They were there in 1830, but then yeah. they had no right to be there. They, they can't argue the point that they never went through this Manukau title. Oh, okay. They went. They, they got that title through consolidation of the New Zealand, New South Wales government. Oh, you okay. see, you see, we've split them out with yeah, the Maoris yeah. on that side. Yeah. And I'm saying to Bundyanam and, and, and Manahinam, pull out of the Maori side and leave it there, then jump into the Moai side. Mm. You see? So yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's, that, that'll leave the Maori side of the contracts with their, yeah. with their courts and no queen. They're in trouble. They've got no queen, yeah. right? They've got no head of state queen. I've got the yeah. evidence now that for citation uh, that uh, that uh, the queen is not the head of state here. So they've got actually nothing. Yeah, yeah. They've got no, no. She's gone. No seal. Yeah. See? They've got no seal in their courts, and that we we, we we can run over them. But I'm going to say yeah. to the chiefs, no, leave them there, and take the power away from them. And yeah, yeah, because we yeah. need them to run themselves in the meantime while we set up. Uh, but we, we can run straight off the British government and bring them straight here. Uh, uh, yeah, not, yeah. not uh, you know, like the ones we'll choose um, to yeah. run off the government there with our own law. Uh, but we can just employ the military to come straight to run to here uh, before the Americans get in there. If the Americans get in there, we're at it. Oh, okay. uh, that's where yeah. all the fraud is with the Queen, and they're, yeah. they're going mad now with their uh, New World Order. 
and Trump won't, Trump won't last long there. He's, 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 really, he's really a crook as well. Yeah, yeah. He's getting, they're all in the same, they can't get out of it. They can't get out of the fraud. They're, they're making money from the fraud admiralty. This, yeah, this yeah. flag, they're, they're doing it with this flag because the government here, the Prime Minister and, and, and the Governor General, lets them use it. Uh, she, they let the Queen use it, then the Queen lets everybody else use it. You see? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I can see things happening now um, uh, from after the, that meeting up there. I think they're looking forward to it. And yeah. uh, I'm just making sure everybody knows so the, all the other chiefs have got a chance to go there and, yeah. and, uh, and go get behind it. Well, they, we, we don't need to worry about anybody because it's, yeah. a, it's a British contract that we don't worry about anything, just the documents uh, okay. and, and, and police being, being notified. Those as far as yeah. up there will we'll get that other guy, um, to that police uh, liaison officer, to sort out, uh, and, sort, sort out the police to, to tell them to stand aside while we go and do our business. See? Yeah. We got them this time. But um, uh, the meeting there, uh, I'll wait till this one is sorted. And yeah. then um, we're, going to, we're going to do Cook Street first. We're yeah. going to take that one out because that'll give us a cash flow straight away. Oh, okay. And because um, that's $2.5 that, uh, that yeah. their business, the whole business. And, oh. and the Bailey's real estate too. I'll take them out too. That's worth billions. Oh, okay. And, yeah, I'm taking them out because I've warned them. But the, the, uh, ignorance is, is, is no excuse now because what we say up there goes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and we're citing the whole thing and, and video the whole thing. And, um, and that's it, really. That's, they, they, they cannot refute this in, in the court. They can go, those chiefs can go in the courts and string them up. Because they haven't got a case, there's no defendants, you see. Yeah. No one can, no one can refute this Manukau title. All, yeah. the, all the church titles, all the St. Patrick, all the St. Mary church title, um, that's, uh, that's got its information now. See, the Freemasons, Mohi Manukau was a Freemason, so he helped them to sell the Manukau lands. Because he, he doesn't have money, Carl Lenz. All his money is tied up in the Freemasons, and that's what I'm going after as well. Because yeah. he signed the documents, he made a contract with me. Uh, and he's not supposed to tell anybody about the Freemasons. He did tell me. <laughs> that's what I'm saying to everybody. He disclosed to me everything about their business. Uh, uh, yeah. And you, you get your head chopped off if you do that. Uh, as a Freemason, but I'm not a Freemason. But I, 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 I've got, I've got, uh, because their oath says they do not follow deeds of truth. Right? They yeah. they follow the opposite of deeds of truth. They follow this myths. That's their oath. It's myths and information gathering. There, they gather the information against what you give them. In a trade-off, that's what they did with Mohi, they trade off with him with the land by giving him money that's, and gold. That's why Ili Manukau, his son, went to get the gold and the money but didn't come back with it because he got cut off. Because he didn't have these titles I've got. See, Mohi didn't know anything about commerce or, or banks or mortgages. See, none of, none of, none of anybody knew that how that works and how the titles link together uh, yeah. from one to the other and the yeah. jurisdiction of courts, which jurisdiction you go into with that title. And, and the admiralty was nobody's business. So you, you got that one shoved in your nose from that federal state court. Now we're going to run a federal state court, the same as yeah. the US federal state court and then shut them down okay. uh, from using the admiralty, right? Yeah. We can prevent everybody from through the British government, right? Yeah. Now Scotland is running away. If they run away, they can't take these titles with them. Uh. You see, because they belong to the British Westminster Parliament. But they've got the money out of it and the gold. They've yeah. run off with it with the Queen, because uh, Prince Philip just resigned as the um, um, Commander in Chief of the Navy. You oh, see? Okay. In Edinburgh, where this Manukau title is, 
and the Manukau Company is, and the um, uh, Freemasons Grand, Grand Lodge headquarters. Headquarters is in Edinburgh, Edinburgh where Manukau was. Okay. That's where that's where Te Rawaikato Farahere in Manukau was, but he they called him Waikato. He's, yeah. he's from uh, um, Mangatotori Mountain in Cambridge. So, okay. so that's his title, but he did it over there to sell the lands, the Manukau lands, all over the country. And I'm saying to I'm saying to Manahi <coughs> uh, to um, talk for Manukau because the Manukau and the Parapara is the same Moriori family, yeah. right? Yeah. And they're all over this country. Up north, you see Parapara and Manukau together. And uh, you go down the east coast to Mar Mar Manukau and Parapara together. Uh, and you go down to Ratana, it's down there. Then you go down South Island, Motueka, it's there. And, yeah. and all the way down the South Island, it's there. And Chatham Island is where they came from. You see? But the Cooks were here first. Yeah, yeah. The Captain Cooks, 1773, he was here first. Discovered yeah. it with down the east coast there. He was the first white man. Yeah, first white man. Yeah. And but he didn't. He he. he was also in the water. Yeah, that's where he went. He he went into Tolaga. <coughs> he went into Tolaga and then walked around a bit. But but then it's on the record that King William uh -huh. King William acknowledged that this country was was founded then. Uh, yeah. Discovered discovered. That's how he says yeah. discovered. Yeah as, as a, a British, um, um, uh, not yet, so, sovereign yet, yet. and uh, so that was in um, 1773, then it took that long to get this country a sovereignty, uh, like Australia got it first and then here, they had to go, they had to go through a process before the, the king would step in, but that, that, that happened um, when, uh, when um, see, in all this time, Tera Waikato and, and uh, Hong Hika was in in uh, in, uh, in England in yeah. 18, uh, 1820, right to 1830, and so yeah, they, yeah. they were they were really got to know how things ran uh, by the time they came back here. Uh, so uh, so I've got that all on on sighted now, and uh, nobody's going to get past that one. And all yeah. the, all the Maori titles here. Will be will be uh, billed against all the damage that they've caused to our title. See? Yeah. So so I'm pleased now because today it's it's not too long to the meeting now, so it'll give me a bit of time and those fellows time to read it. They've got a week to read it and to watch watch the videos. But I'm, I meant to give them more time, but I it's taken this long to put the damn thing together. Yeah, and, yeah. and keep an eye on what's happening with uh, Trump and, and up in Britain. The, whole, yeah, the yeah. whole thing is changing around now day by day. And uh, with yeah. all the earthquakes going on and all that sort of thing to make, to make their business work in the dirty world. The, yeah, the, yeah. And Tonga is getting hit again and, and these monsoons and stuff that are coming around. We've got to yeah, be wary yeah. of, of, of those things. Uh, that's why I've got to brace up with this thing to try and get the finance behind us to head any of that off. Uh, uh, to put up our, our, our defence. Because yeah. the Americans don't care about anybody. Trump, Trump yeah. don't care about anybody because they're making more money all the time yeah. for themselves yeah. and their own families. Now they want the, the rich people out of parliament because they're, they're setting it up for themselves. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And and so, but that's a long process. And uh, yeah. with with the meetings going on up north, Kingy's just come back from there, and he's yeah. happy with what what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. He understands it more now. And with him putting the flag, he put the flag up in Point Chivalry, in the oh, RSA. Okay. The flag's flying yeah, over yeah. there now, and in, in, yeah. uh, in the returned servicemen, which acknowledges the flag there. And those yeah. are the people that are the Freemasons in that area. They got kicked off the Manukau land at the, at the heads. Uh, they bought that land when they left yeah. Scotland and they never uh, got it because this government here switched the titles and kicked them yeah. off into Avondale and yeah, um, yeah. Um, uh, Point Chev and Hillsborough and, uh, and took the land for themselves and put those Ngāti Whātua chiefs on it. Then they yeah. got Tiwana Tebel from Ngāti Pro to come up to Auckland and screw, screw the whole thing to themselves, right? Uh -huh. 
and and that's what happened there. Tiwana Wana Temple's been here for years. Mohi Manaka and me have we been battling against them all these years. Him and, and Tainui uh, yeah. about One Tree Hill and we we always lost, even though we went up there and claimed it, we still couldn't get past them. Yeah, yeah. And they're gonna pay for it now. They're gonna get hammered now but by the time we get up Auckland uh, up north. The, yeah. the, the, those, those, the Maori side of the iwi is going to get hammered now because they're two, two horonuku just falling apart up north. Oh, yeah. they, they don't want to go with it because it's, it, they're looking at something else and I think it's this. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. I put it in such a way that it's, it belongs to the, the paramount. The paramount yeah. is really uh, equal to a king. Okay. Uh, not an ariki. A paramount is more commercial. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Araki is not commercial. You can't use yeah. it in their documents. A paramount, yes. So th oh. that's, that's why Mohi Manika went under that title, Paramount, on the Rogan titles. Oh. You see? And, um, and that's why he sent me to, to, uh, to uh, Westminster. When I went there, I only got as far as Malaysia, and it got cut off. I meant to go there to get our claim against the Atrium Treasury. Now I'm going back again and straight into the Atrium Treasury to audit it. That's what I went there in the first place because boy he knew what he was doing but he wouldn't really tell me about that part of the um, um, Freemasons. Yeah. The Freemasons was set up with the Native Land Court in Helensville. Uh, yeah, that was the first uh, Native Court there. That's where Ngāti Whātua said they, they owned the lands over there, and I said no, and so there was a bit of an argument about it, and that's where Dion comes from, you know, Dion that follows playing the uke, that's his yeah. territory up there in the Kaipras, and he, he, he's, he suddenly looks at the, the Maori side of his title is suspect, yeah. is suspect because of what I'm saying about the Manukau title. You see, the Napui didn't like the, what I was talking about with Moi Manika. We always got slammed up. And, and now that he did, I can do what I like. And I'm talking for Manika. I'm saying to King and them, look, I've got to pass it over because it's no use to me. You see? That's in confidence with the Freemasons. Now, it's going to open up the Freemasons in a good way because all I had to do is cut a deal with them in front of those chiefs up north and I said, look, I'll go and talk to the Freemasons because they really own all the documents and the titles of the documents because they are the ones that gathered all that information. So rather than try and make the same thing as them, you can take forever, we'll just cut a deal on a percentage of what they got out of it with us. You see? You see? We should be getting more than them because we're holding the king's flag. We got the we got the contract. They haven't got the contract. We got the contract. Okay. They only work for the Westminster, and they have to leave all that stuff with Westminster when they go. So that belongs to us. Yeah, yeah. And the World Court is owned by King William, and the Vatican is owned by King William, and we own that too. When you look at it from the flag point of view, yeah. If the flag was flying in in Brussels in in the World Court there, then that's our title right there. Yeah. With all that Mohi Manukau's money poured into that, into the Freemasons' yeah. side of the business of land titles, okay, he was yeah. he was carrying the peg around with his uncle John Rogan, yeah. uh, uh, the judge, selling the land off. Uh, See, you look at the land title deeds. There's no Manukau land titles, <laughs> and you wonder why he hasn't got any land. I says Manukau. Mohi, where's your land? He says, over there. You're looking at it. <laughs> and in Auckland, I said, I want this land down in, in where I'm living in Davesi Lane in Papatoi. He says, you got to sit on it. And I sat on it for a long time. And, and all the bulldozers on the motorway was going around it. And the, and the road there now is gone around where I was sitting in the paddock. Until my boy came to live with me in the paddock. And then he let them in when, when the police came and he let them in and then that's when the police arrested me. You see? And so I've, I've got that against them after this lot up north, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just worry about the bank. 
I'm just going to worry about the bank and and uh, and uh, land commissioner's side to make sure the titles are right and get some other others to do it. But all the sheriff uh, uh, work of investigating the titles, there'll be a big job for that. Yeah. For 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 uh, a sheriff like Desmond can go up yeah. to a property and check the titles, right? Yeah. So yeah. here I might test them out on on the on the Rotten Point one. I, I think he knows how to do it. Um, yeah. he, he, he's confident because he's watching all the time what I'm doing, yeah. and so I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna let him go and do it, mm. and um, and uh, see how far he gets with it. After we've got Cook Street, yeah, I'm going with the the, the Paramount Chiefs to get Cook Street this time, and yeah. and, okay. and they'll be holding the Manukau title these these 42 pages and the other 15 pages of the trust, the Queen Victoria Trust. Mm. See, see. Yeah. And they'll yeah. do it. They'll, they'll go on that block, put the flag up, bang, that's it. And and the, and the new, because Mohi said, put the parliament up uh, on in the Cornwallis Park, right? Corn, yeah. Cornwall Park on the One Tree Hill in the big paddock and all that. Put the, put put the native uh, parliament there. Okay. Right, so that's that's where that's where he said to put it. Because the memorial is up the top of the hill yeah, of his yeah. ancestor. That's his ancestor, Tabanico, on top of that hill. Uh, you see? So Campbell is supposed to be, um, uh, Logan Campbell is supposed to be the, the, the governor of New Zealand. Yeah. But then Hobson came along, and but Campbell is supposed to be there because that was on the Manukau title. Yeah. Okay. From, from Cornwallis out, out at uh, the hedge. Uh, you see? You see? Because yeah, they, yeah. they were jumping all over the land everywhere, but this was the main one. Yeah, yeah. So all those British people were going down South Island. You see, they hadn't got sovereignty yet. In the 1820s uh, to, 1830, uh, to 1840, they had no right to be there. Uh, only us, only, only us in the British side. Well, yeah, all yeah. those ones down there came under King William, straight from Britain. Yeah. See, but when they got the 1840 treaty, they put all those into the 1840 treaty, so we'll take them all out of there, and they'll all go under this one for Paramount Chief title. See, it's taken, it's taken a bit to sort out, but I think everybody's got the, got the drift on it now because no one's arguing. Okay. No one's arguing. Uh, so that's, that's where we are, mate. I think yeah. we, sh we should be having a meeting down there, uh, maybe this um, uh, June, early June. Might be the second or first or second week in June. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll let you know anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you know. And um, um, I'll email these things to you and those other ones up there. Uh, yeah. We'll get them today, uh, those those documents and uh, um, and the videos. I've strung, okay. I've strung out all the videos on, on YouTube and on Facebook. So those yeah. are at least making statements um, yeah. uh, there, and also um, with uh, with uh, those the writ warrant to go straight yeah. in and seize anything, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, that was all. How's how's things over there? Uh, no, it's all right. It's all good. Hey. Yeah. Okay. How's our mate Tamati? All right. Yeah, that's all right. Did he win that lotto or something? Hey. Did he win a big lotto or something? Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, it can't be, otherwise he would have had a brand new car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been having a for a little while. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so that gate is still locked, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's alright. That's alright. No yeah. problem there. I can't think of anything else. Any other questions? Yeah, no, I'm confident. I'm that confident now that I've got those four chiefs on side, and we don't have to worry about anybody else because yeah. uh, it's really private with this flag. And okay. those, all those other ones with the 1835 are lost, are lost in in that side. Yeah, uh, I can't do anything about it because that's what uh, um, um, Hirschfeld said, the, the lawyer. You know, uh. um, um, he was my lawyer, was, was my lawyer, and Sue Nicora's lawyer, um, 
Charles Hirschfield, he said, John, they're wasting their time with the flag. I said, why? Yeah. He says, it's not legal. It's, oh, okay. it's, not, it's not legal. But this one is legal, the 1834, the same flag, but the 1834 yeah. is, is legal because the yeah. British were already selling land before the 1840 treaty. Uh, See, they were already legally selling land. They, they had the right to sell land direct from England. Yeah. Mm. But this one, this Manukau company set the pattern off for all of them because the British put that together to absorb all the other titles into it. Yeah, yeah. And that's when this New South Wales pirates and New Zealand government stole the Manukau title at the heads. Yeah. And, and that fella, I think they assassinated him and, and yeah. put it down to drowning and drowning at sea in the harbour. Um, but that was after he got here. He got here in 1840 with those Scottish people. Those Scottish people uh -huh. were called gentries. That means they were land speculators and yeah, yeah. builders and, and uh, tradesmen that came yeah. specifically to set up um, um, workshops and everything. Um, but, but, but they, they had the receipts. Uh, they paid for that land, that Manukau land from, from, England, from England, but yeah. uh, this government here hijacked it. So yeah. we're going in to hijack them, uh, le legally, uh, yeah. legally, and, and, and put this title right over them. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's, uh, that'll, that'll solve all the, all the problems of TPPA and all the rest of it, do uh, all yeah. and all the rest. They're making money out of this and that. Now they're selling all the conservation land. Oh, you see, yeah, all okay. the land, all the land that they 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 said will never get sold. It, they're selling it. Yeah. Yeah. They they do they're doing all the opposite things to what they say because it's their business they're running in their parliament. Yeah, they're yeah. using their Freemasons and those things to run their parliament. But we have a stake in the Freemasons entity. And their inheritance from this Manukau title, you see. Okay, yeah. So that makes sense. Does it, does it sound right? And yeah. Yeah. So that's what it is. I'm just making it make sure that they understand it here, and the yeah. public understands it because they're watching too. Those ones in Scotland that I've got there working with me, Jackie Little Gordon and her family, they know yeah. because they've been tracking me for years, and they no, know because okay. they're just up the road from Edinburgh. Yeah. And that's, they're the ones running my business for me there, Regi yeah. the registered business there, they're looking after it until we get the, the thing through with the pound note. Yeah. So as soon as I write the first pound note against John Key, I put their names down on Facebook, the, all the ones I'm taking out, and yeah. I'm rolling it over to make sure everybody knows what's going to happen to them. Yeah. And, and that's how we do it. We can single them out one by one and not build the crown. But build that person who is who is running the crowd. Yeah. See, that's how you do it. You don't go and go go into the, their court. You, you don't go into their court. You tell their court they have no case to answer. Yeah. You know, because they won't have anybody to put a complaint or a defendant in. Yeah. You see, the judge is no good without a, a, a somebody to who's got a complaint to make business. Yeah. Yeah. You see. Okay. So. Those, those paramount chiefs will go straight into the court here in Auckland and tell them, you have no case to answer, we're going to seize the land. Yeah, and yeah. go to the police and tell them, you see, yeah. because I got a trespass order, it might be up by now, uh, 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 over yeah. Cook Street, but I let them go and sort the way out for me while I sit yeah. in the bank and wait and do the title transfer, see? Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, I do all the transfer of the titles from the Manukau title back into the Manukau titles in, Brit oh, okay. in Britain from these ones in Wellington. See? Yeah. We we'll just use the, the British titles that are there now and their valuations. Yeah. We we'll put the right valuations in place with the power note over these lands. Good one? That's how it works. Yeah. So I don't, have to, I don't have to invent anything. It's already there to put to put and set it up for us. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And the carving that, that I'm using for the four main tribes, uh, uh, they got it now. They, they know how that works now. Manahi knows how it works. That's Mohi Manukau head. Uh, the four tribes in the 13 chiefs that signed with the British. The first, the first chiefs, those are the ones I'm going with. Not all the rest that signed afterwards. 
You see in a contract, oh, yeah. you don't go around the country picking up signatures here and there. That's not a contract. Yeah. Mm. See? That was illegal to do that, to go around go around over a few weeks getting signatures yeah. here and there. It's supposed to be done in one place. Yeah. When, oh, you, yeah. when you make a contract with somebody else, one person, with a king or something, you do it with the king. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or his representative, that one person, right there. So that's what mm. we're doing here. We're doing it with the Monaco. Yeah. One person. So all they had to do was deal with me yeah. uh, as, as if I'm in England, because I was going there to do it from there. And so okay. in the meantime, I'm doing it from here. I can walk straight into that, uh, that uh, company over there and, uh, and, yeah. and, do, and stand there with it. Mm. See? Okay. That's how it works. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. But uh, now I'm hungry for some kinnas. <laughs> <laughs> You have kinnas hat there? Nah, no, 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 at the moment. Yeah, oh, okay. no, okay. yeah the pudding yeah. should be growing, eh? Yeah, well, they shouldn't be too far away. Yeah, but well, might be a lot of way too. Yeah. Yeah, nah, the, the, I'll be I'll be there for that. I'll make yeah. sure make sure they get me some because I, I I've finished my last lot. That uh -huh. that came from up uh, Manukau over here. Yeah. Yeah, I've just cleaned out my last lot. Uh, so yeah. I, I want some more, but not much growing there. Oh man, that's my biggest effort is to make the putting more grow there again. Uh, okay. That's going to be my biggest biggest uh, thing is to is to is to make that industry up again. Up again. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mm. What yeah. else is there? Anything else exciting? No, 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 not really. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Eh? Hey? No, I'm not even sitting here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, I'll I'll uh, I'll send this off to you tonight, um, uh, Rapala. Yeah. And, okay. And um, I'll 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 do my best to get it to you tonight or tomorrow, but it should be today. Um, I want to get it all uh, out today. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So much on. Okay. Yeah. I'll catch you later. I'll give you a call again. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Well, let's wrap it up. My old friend, Robert Akar, and his family, Reverend Carr and Reverend Wanoa, at 1831. I wish I had the documents to show you in my hand, but I'm trying to, to I'll print them out when I'm finished them all, then I can show you on a video each page when I get it bound up. Uh, I'll get the final copy bound up, then I'll put it in front of you on the video. Uh, to explain again. I'm doing it in bits now because it takes a long time to talk about it on 42 pages that I've got three videos uh, to explain that. I've got one video for uh, the 15 page um, of Karen Hudez and the um, Philippines uh, goal that's stacked up over there from the 9-11 bombing by Trump and his uh, elite um, um, Lucifer, a uh, lot of thugs um, that have hidden it over there thinking that it belongs to them. No, it doesn't. And he's using the Scottish Rite and the Freemasons to claim all their symbols and all that sort of thing on our land, native lands. It's going to be something that has to come up against the Manukau title uh, using our information, our whakapapa, our genealogy, our DNA, our everything from your people into our people to seal our lands. You'll notice now that the uh, Muslims, which are the ones that have been displaced off their lands, are going back after their lands and killing the Christians. You see, there's been all this humbug myths that is their oath. The Jesuit oath is myths. They call it myths and stories of information they gather, whether it's true or false, they use it against you because they say you gave it to us so now we'll use it on you. And that's what they did with the Manukau titles. Their, their Freemasons here have settled in Auckland on the Manukau lands. That's what I've been saying all along in Auckland um, on the Cook Street. Those are Manukau lands and prove me wrong. No one bothered to rebut over 3,000 affidavits, not one single one. It goes against you now because silence is not a defence. Not turning up 
in Waitangi on the 19th and the 20th of May is no excuse. The consequences of those names I have written down on these videos and on the statements on Facebook is citations as fact evidence against your name personally and in person which is admiralty one law or the other natural law in common law is your natural man or woman or child's name surname i accuse you of criminal fraud under the new zealand crimes act 1961 and the new zealand crimes act 1951 acts and also the acts of british government and our contract as a private defaulted contract against you, Bill English and John Key and Helen Clark and an Anne and Governor General and Jerry Mataparai, Governor General and Patsy Reddy, Governor General and Queen Elizabeth II for selling these Maori lands that are Iwi Crown corporations and your private companies using somebody's authority as private contracts. Where did you get that from? That's what I'm saying. We're using this Manukau company registered in Scotland, Edinburgh, to build a whole lot of you because Mohi Manukau has a financial investment interest in the Freemasons business, private business, because he does not have land titles here in New Zealand, Auckland or the Kaipara or anywhere because I couldn't find any. It was taken out because he sold all his Manukau lands from England, direct <coughs> with his ancestor Refe from Manukau here in New Zealand and his ancestor Te Rawakato Wharaherehere Manukau in Edinburgh, Scotland, Britain, UK, sold the Manukau lands back in the, 19, the 1820s, the 1830s to 1830 to 1837 to 1840 under King William IV to 1837. 1830 to 1837 under King William IV. We're only basing this Manukau title for you uh, chiefs, paramount chiefs, um, Manahi, Parapara, Mohini, JP, uh, Bundy, Waitai, uh, for the Cooks Islands, and Ngāpui, uh, and Kingi, Tauroa for Napui, uh, Hongihika, and uh, also um, Tupi Jim Wikotu for the uh, Matatua, tu, the Tukana, um, Hapu of Oneone. It's from um, Riku, Chatham Islands. Uh, Oneone comes from there to East Coast. Okay, East Coast. And that Oni Oni title, I know. Um, uh, so he's handling that and the Maungas, um, Hikarangi Maunga with Toi Kairako history. He's doing the Mori, Mo, Mo, Mori Moai, uh, the Pitol title at, uh, on the Haha ha, ha blocks, uh, the D47 blocks. He's doing that title to Rapanui. From that tipito to the tipito on Rapanui, the birth of the world, their title to uh, uh, Haha Block D47, Marangaro D47 Block, where tipito is, that's the title at 6 a.m., 12 noon on tipito East Island, to 12 noon in London, that three point triangle title, and 12 midnight East Island. 6 a.m. London and 6 p.m. East Cape, typical on our land block. One more tiki tiki land block, Rahui Marai and Mount Hikarangi. Okay, those are our titles to Cook Islands and to um, Moriori, Reku Island country, Chatham Islands, Manukau. Title. Okay, you got that? That's all I'm saying in this video to let you know and roll it over and over and over again so you don't forget. That's why I do that. And I'll finish off the videos shortly for the 42-page writ warrant 
of against this New Zealand government, the Crown and the Queen, the Rothschilds and all the people I have named in that writ warrant. Execution warrant that um, President Rodriguez uh, Duterte uh, of Philippines is using the writ warrant, a writ of execution and demolition warrant to seize back his lands with the gold inside the ground of the Rothschild banks and the Crown corporations. Okay, so he's doing, we're using the same writ warrant, we have the authority with the flag. I don't know where he's getting his admiralty authority from, because he's on the Queen's side. Everything's on the Queen's side on that island, or that country. All the countries are under the Queen's side, not this Queen, King William, who created those banknotes, pound notes, and the gold bars, the gold currency, and also the flag, and the St. Patrick's Church order on this head. Okay? King William III put that together, and King William IV commercialised it. Okay? The Queen, Victoria, commercialised my own Moai statue on East Island as making money. And so that's what I'm using, that commercial Moai title memorial with the King William IV memorial, those two memorials on our seals right through the world, over the Freemasons' titles, the only information we do get information from us and our brains of our native paramount chiefs. Okay, so that's that's the argument settled with Ngāpuhi being the head of the four main tribes. That's what Mohi Manukau told me. Ngāpuhi has the big eye on the top next to Taunui in our time, 1830 to 1834 cut off. We don't go to 1835 on this Manukau title. <coughs> We're only going to 1834 straight into Britain. And that's it. That's that contract. The 1835 has to stay with the Confederation of Chiefs of Tribes with the New Zealand government to sort out. They have to build them and put it into the 1834 side of the flag. It was Charles Hirschfeld, the um, barrister, my barrister uh, with Tsunikora, that said to me, John, the flag has 1835 Declaration of Independence flag has no jurisdiction or legal uh, power to it because the government here, New South Wales and New Zealand government, legislated it out and turned it into the 1843. That's the end of that. So that's why we are the ones with the 13 chiefs because there was more chiefs, 38 chiefs somewhere, that added to the 1835 gazetted Australia, New South Wales, Queen's Victoria title, which was later, Johnny come later, title, because it had to get its authority from King William uh, to make that work, because the Queen is not an Admiralty, only, and Prince Philip is not an Admiralty either. They are only a pretend, which is what the, the, the oath of the Freemasons is. It says it's a myth. Everything they do is a myth. You can see all the myths flying around in America and Israel. And the Rothschilds are all myths. That's just not our game. We don't do things like that. But because Queen Victoria set her trust up for us in 1848, uh, Queen Victoria Trust, that's why we got Queen Victoria High School here in Auckland, the Queen Vic High, that was funded from that trust, okay, funded by that trust, and for the parks and uh, uh, conservation areas is funded from straight from that trust. So all the money we're going to audit, I've got the right to audit it, talking for Te Rawakato Whareheri in um, Edinburgh, Scotland. I'm talking from there with Jackie uh, Little Gordon, uh, my um, manager there, on the business of my powerhouse Crown Limited Limited in London, registered company. She is the manager of that company from where she lives in that area of Edinburgh, Glasgow, uh, and where she is in Stone, uh, Stonehaven, um, 
I forgot what's the name of the place where she is, but anyway, in that area, out of the outside of Glasgow, uh, she is going to be looking after all these titles. And we're going into the uh, land land registry office in Edinburgh to check the titles here in New Zealand and the whole world. Uh, that my job as land commissioner, native land commissioner in New Zealand, with a real estate uh, agent uh, experience. Uh, with uh, in uh, Remira and Epsom areas of real estate land titles. That's where I became with Mohi Manukau. I spent six years, over six years with Mohi Manukau putting this stuff about the title together with our families, with the Rogan, uh, Rogan um, Freemason. You see the Freemason here, Mohi Manukau, 50 years. Look. So he had the knowledge, he put his information into the Freemasons and his lands to sell all the lands in New Zealand through the Freemasons because they're the ones that survey the land. So I'm going to cut a deal with the Freemasons. Really, they're on our side because they got booted off the land at Cornwallis and kicked out into Hillsborough and Point Chev and Avondale. That's why our flag's flying now with those Freemasons, I guess, in Point Chev, RSA. Return servicemen of the army with Kingi Todo. So Kingi's put the flag up with my daughter, and it's that represents the 1835 Declaration of Independence side of the flag. Okay, but the flag itself is up. Once it's up, it's got legal entity to it. That's that side. They can talk to the cows garden home on that side. They have to get that from the government of Wellington, has taken the money out of that, 1835, but it's standing there as 1834, from Kingy's point of view, from the authority I give him, from the Manukau Company, land transfer titles in Edinburgh, Scotland. Okay? You get that? So that's how it works. I'll pick uh, and nominate uh, them into their positions, appoint position and they, they appoint me as the Native Land Commissioner of Investigation of Lands and Seizure, Search and Seizure of Lands that I investigate as being fraudulent, uh, bad titles. Okay, so that's all I'll say in this video. We'll uh, leave it there.